But you're taking away our future. Without a future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines. Programmed to do what we're told. You have hope. More than you think. The paths are open. But you have to choose. Well, what about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwater. He saw his whole unit die on the cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. need an army or a really good team i've already compiled a list of soldiers scientists and mercenaries you'll get dossiers on the best of them finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging but you're a natural leader it all fell apart without you commander everything you stirred up the council just wanted it gone the team was broken up record sealed and i was grounded our people are dying this cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. Would you like history to remember you? You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. I'll start by saying Commander Shepard was born on Earth and fought harder than anyone else for his home world. Shepard could handle any weapon in the galaxy. The Alliance never saw a deadlier soldier. He was a soldier and a leader, one who made peace where he could. And it was a privilege to know him. I am Urban Rex, and this is my planet! Do you remember what we said on Ramok? Just before you took down that sleeper? You said, I love you. And you said, kill us a lie. I want more time. You represent chaos. We represent order. Every organic civilization must be harvested in order to bring order to the chaos. The cycle must continue. Finish your war. We will be waiting. Do you remember the question that caused the creators to attack us, Talizor? Does this unit have a soul? Eden Prime was a major victory. Beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to serve us. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Sovereign wasn't alone. The rest of the Reapers are still out there. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I'm by. Shepard and Vicarian storming heaven. I guess there are worse ways this could end. <laughs>